Hello everyone, uh, I am Alam Gilhasan. Uh, last, this is the second video of octal tutorial. Uh, octal tutorial. So uh, now the, in this tutorial, we talk about the vector and matrix. Okay, so yeah, this is the Jupyter notebook that I also used uh, in previous uh, in previous lecture, right? Uh, previous uh, video. So also you can use uh, the Octav like uh, you can install Octav. So in here in my computer I also install the Octav. So yeah, this is like the GNU Octav. Octa. So you can also use this, right? For example, mm, this this then this uh, view you can see this G, uh, GNU Octav. For example, then you can write okay say seven plus uh, eight or something, right? so you can you can also use this right okay so another way you can use the terminal for example in here octave is installed right so you can see this you know, I'll go through the this way okay okay just cancel this uh, okay so now yeah Jupyter notebook okay so this is a vector x is this, this is a row vector like x equals to 1 2 3 1 2 say okay 1 2 3 okay this you can you can use this row vector like this or, or you can use comma separation then you can find this right but when you write a semicolon then you will get a column vector like y equals to this so yeah say semicolon okay this is a 3 another thing you can you can write the size say for example size of x so this is a 1 by 3 matrix is like okay but uh, because this is a this is a row vector so if we write in here the size of y then we can see this is like uh, uh, 3 by 1 1 vector okay we can find the transpose so this like 3 is a common column so we can find the transpose of y this uh, this now this becomes a row vector right okay all right so this is a uh, y like 3 4 and we can write a matrix so 1 2 is like the first 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 row and 3 4 is the second row and we can make the semicolon to make it uh, to make it for the for the second row okay so you can define a matrix like this and a is a 2 by 2 matrix and if we ch check the size uh, of a then we can see this size is 2 by 2 okay another thing we can check the length of a vector of a matrix for example so in here uh, say this x was like 1 to 3 so we uh, we check the size and we can check also the length for example the length mm, length of x so the length of x will be 3 and for this matrix so this is a 2 by 2 matrix so the size is 2 uh, if we check the length of a uh, if we check the length of a for example okay so length length of a so it will be 4 oh, it, it's, it's sorry it, it shows the one length mm, uh, the length of a column or a row like this okay so now the interesting thing is the matrix multiplication so we have the a matrix we have this a matrix okay uh, this is the a matrix so is a 2 by 2 matrix now if we multiply like a star uh, then it will be the multiplication of a matrix with a with a if we write okay a square it also a multiplication of a with a but the interesting thing is if we use this like a a dot square like this then it will be the element wise uh, component wise multiplication something uh, uh, component wise square okay so for example it was in one so one square 
is 1, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9, and, uh, and, and 4 squared is 16. This is the interesting thing. Uh, okay, so for uh, okay, I can write here again. So it was our a, for example, a, this, right? So this is just a, a is square of any component. We can use like mult dot star. So it also uh, it also multiplied every element by two, right? So a dot square right yeah same thing we can we can use this 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 uh, notation uh, like okay we can divide all terms by two then we can also use this operation right so but if we do not use this for example a by two so yeah this this also because it's a constant right so so it's a, it's a same thing it will provide but if we divide by a by a this this the this is like this right but if we use this so this is a different thing right so a b element of a divided by b element of a okay all right so this is the b matrix say another matrix b so this is b and we can find the inverse of b right like we can assign like c equals to b inverse you can write this right and we can multiply with a and c to mat matrix multiplication we can also find the multiplication of say b into c or if we want to do the component wise multiplication then b dot star c like this way and we can we can find the inverse of a matrix using i and v right we can find the inverse of a matrix using this notation sorry okay so we can also determine we can also find the uh, determinant of a matrix like okay this b matrix so the determinant of b is this and we can also check any any function using the help so for example eiz is like a ma in math like eigenvalue and eigenvector something so we, we can see the detail of the help and uh, for example say a now is a 3 by 3 matrix so we can write okay 1 2 3 then column uh, colon semicolon and then 4 5 6 and then semicolon like 7 8 98 etc so you can find the eigenvalue and eigenvector for this matrix this is a built-in function in in uh, octave okay so yeah so we can find the eigenvalue and eigenvector of a um, yeah so <coughs> the another interesting thing is uh, this a by uh, this a matrix has uh, the structure is like this so if we write the uh, notation okay say so, uh, for example this this is the this is the a matrix right uh, okay so this is the a matrix for example if I if I write here a okay so a is this now if I write uh, 1 colon 3 that's the interesting thing and comma 3 so that means uh, this is a uh, one column three for uh, all all rows uh, rows number from one to three but column is only three so that it, it will pop up only only third uh, third column so if I write okay this is a one so it will show only first column if I write two it will show uh, second column right if I write okay two column three it will show this two uh, the second and third column right if I write okay uh, so for example one and uh, not colon one and three it will show one and first and third column like this okay this is interesting and you can also show the segment uh, of a matrix like okay say one colon two that is first and second Mm, row and like okay first and second column then it's like this only okay yeah that's interesting uh, operation in a matrix so you can see the size we can also define some other uh, factors like i i vector is like identity matrix right i uh, i for that is four by four identity matrix that is all 
diagonal elements are 1 and our other elements are 0 in this matrix we can use rand uh, 4 that is 4 by 4 random matrix so all of the random values in here and one interesting thing we, we can we know this uh, system of equations ax equals to b like a system of equations so uh, if a is uh, this uh, 1 2 3 say if I remove the semicolon that is a matrix is this right and if I remove the semicolon of b so b matrix is this uh, b is a so a uh, x b b is the right side right uh, side of this uh, system for example this is kind of uh, if I write okay say x plus 2 y plus 3 z equals to 1 this is like the first equation right and 3 x plus 3 y plus 4 z equals to 1 this is the second equation and 2 x plus 3 y plus 3 z equals to 2 this is the third equation right so we can we can solve this system of equation by using this okay so then we can use a x equals to a slash b that is x is the solution of this system of linear equations more about vector okay that is we can use this colon for example 1 colon 5 so that means uh, it, it will uh, <coughs> excuse me x is the number from 1 to 5 1 to 5 okay say for example 1 to 5 if i write a uh, 0.5 in here in between two columns that means like the increment is uh, 0.5 in here is like increment is 1 so first one is the initial value and 5 is the final value and in the middle one is the increment so if i write okay 1 to 10 and if i write okay the increment is 2 then it is like 1 3 5 9 right if we write 3 that is the increment is 3 so 1 4 7 10 like this okay so this is the way we can also define a factor now that is we can check the length of this vector so if this x is uh, uh, in here the length of x is 9 we can also use line space for defining a vector say this is uh, another uh, way uh, for this okay so <coughs> say from 0 to 5 we want to find the 11 points from 0 to 5 then like you can count it is the 11 point and equally spaced points okay so another interesting thing is we can find the index we can use uh, uh, find uh, for finding the index say for example in in this vector uh, if we want to find okay uh, which numbers are the greater than 2 so we can use the index say the index number is 6 7 to 11 that is Mm, the index number is uh, 6 to 11 are uh, greater than 2 so we can define this index as like okay this is the index variable and we can use the index uh, inside this x and we can find this okay so another interesting thing is uh, uh, the script uh, is uh, another uh, interesting is a script fi file for example if you have a script file like a dot m file uh, then say this is the uh, say i have a function i have a file plot test dot m in my in this folder uh, uh, in this folder dot uh, plot a uh, plot test dot m this this file so yeah i can show you yeah so this is like a simple plot for simple plot so i can use uh, sorry i can i can use in here just a uh, write plot test then you can see this this figure this graph okay uh, and also using this jupiter right so yeah you can you can also open um uh, open the file in your Jupyter uh, in your octave 
octave uh, so the plot plot test okay so you can see this now you can use uh, this is the uh, this is the file so you can use the command line of your um, GNU octave then you can write plot test and you can oh okay so it's like I think okay so you need to change the directory uh, so computing octave Okay, now I can use uh, this and uh, this the this the this the graph. Okay, thank you for watching uh, the video.